Hi, this is Seth LeBlond, and I'm the Assistive Technology Coordinator for the Foundation for Blind Children. Today, we're going to talk about a really cool resource for people who use iOS devices like iPads, iPhones, iPod Touches, and actually, even if you use Mac OS, this could be a really cool resource. The resource I'm talking about is a website and community called AppleViz. That's A P P L E V I S. AppleViz is a community of users of Apple devices and apps that are related to those devices. It's a really cool place where we can go to find out whether apps work well with accessibility software and what issues there might be with that software and whether there are workarounds so that you can use different apps even if using them isn't necessarily intuitive. So we're going to go to our address bar here and we're going to type appleviz.com appleviz.com selected AppleVis Google Chrome Seth Seth Personal AppleVis. Here we are on the AppleVis website, and there are a lot of features of this website that we're not going to have time to go over today. The one that I want to make a point of demonstrating is the ability to search for apps. Have you ever wondered, is the app I'm about to use going to be accessible? One of the problems with Apple is that you can't try apps before you buy them. So generally, you go into the App Store, if an app is $2.99, you've got to pay the $2.99 to see whether it works. On AppleViz, there's a community of people who probably already know. We're going to go to the search field, and we're going to do a search for Google Classroom. Site search AppleVis. Page has nine read site. Now, we have a list of results related to our search. Main navigate breadcrumb head site search filter by top post date heading displaying 120 of 21 Google Classroom visited heading level three link. When we go to the Google Classroom link. Site search AppleVis. Visited heading level three. We'll see a description of the app. Breadcrumb Google Classroom Heading Level 1 article. So we have a basic description there. And then if we read on, we can find out this user's experience with the, the software. Classroom is designed to help teachers create, collect, and grade assignments paperlessly. The app is fully accessible with voiceover and is easy to navigate and use. So the website here very concisely tells us all about the app. It tells us that the buttons are all labeled. It tells us that the layout is easy to interact with and it's fully accessible. On pages about apps that are less accessible, you'll usually actually find comments about what is accessible, what isn't accessible, and how to work around any important accessibility issues. There are also a number of apps that are on this site that are not very accessible. And so you can learn about those without having to go ahead and download all the apps and test them yourself. Apps that work with VoiceOver are generally gonna to be totally accessible with screen magnification too. And if all you're using is screen magnification, then you shouldn't generally encounter a lot of accessibility issues. If you want to become a part of the discussion, so you can post your own reviews of apps that you've tested, or so that you can ask your own questions, you can easily register for a free account on appleviz.com and then log in whenever you revisit. Again, this is a very valuable resource, and we hope that you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.